in Ezekiel chapter 32, where, where God is speaking to Ezekiel about coming against the Pharaoh of Egypt. And, and listen to the first couple of verses. It came to pass in the 12th year, in the 12th month, on the first day of the month, that the, the word of the Lord came to me saying, Son of man, take up lamentation for Pharaoh, king of Egypt. See, here's why he gives the date and tries to be so specific. Because it's been almost a year to the day that Jerusalem fell. And the Pharaoh, the, the king of Egypt, has been kind of gloating. He's been kind of taking pride in the fact that, well, he's standing, that he's strong, that he's powerful. And I, I think part of what's happening in Ezekiel chapter 32 would be this question probably that goes on in, in everybody's life, especially in the believers at time. Why do the wicked prosper? And that's what Job asked in, uh, in his questioning of things when he was going through all his difficulties. You know, Job with his suffering, knowing that he had done everything right, he, he, he asked the question, God, why do the wicked prosper? And God says, there comes a time when I finally deal with them. I mean, you and I walk through life and we see people who, you know, don't love the Lord, don't go to church, don't serve the Lord, do all kinds of crazy stuff. And it looks like, man, life is good for them and uh, they're doing well. And so this is kind of the, the underlying theme here of Ezekiel chapter 32, that Egypt is prospering and Jerusalem has been defeated. But on the very day, one year to the day, God says, okay, it's time to deal with the Pharaoh. It reminds me of a psalm, and I, I want to read part of it to you. Do not fret because of evildoers, nor be envious of workers of iniquity, for they shall soon be cut down like the grass and wither as the green herb. Trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and feed on his faithfulness. Delight yourself also in the Lord, and he shall give you the desires of your heart. Sometimes, once again, we see all kinds of people prospering and doing evil things and we think man you know why should i you know continue to follow and serve the lord when i'm struggling or having difficulties well the lord has a timing he has purpose and from the book of psalm and i believe also from ezekiel chapter 32 we would do well to think you know what trust in the lord and don't lean on your own understanding and all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths.